Hello children, welcome to Enjoy Stories. In this series, we will be reading one story every episode. This is a part of my effort to encourage children to take to reading and collect books. Wishing all the very best. Today, we will read the story The Strange Castle. This is one story from the collection Grandpa's Stories. Once upon a time, there lived three princesses. They were all very beautiful. The youngest princess was the most lovable of the three. Now, there was a deserted castle on the outskirts of the kingdom. The princesses were always curious about the strange castle and often went there. But they did not dare to enter the castle as it looked very scary. They roamed in its gardens and enjoyed the blooming flowers. One day, as they were playing in the castle's gardens, a crow flew towards them. He seemed very sad. The youngest princess felt sorry for him. The crow said, Dear princesses, I am not really a crow. I am a prince who was cursed to be a crow. I am to spend my youth in misery, but I can be freed by a kind girl who will stay here for a week. Will you help me? The two older princesses refused to help the poor crow. But the youngest princess agreed to stay in the castle and help. The crow was thankful and said, Princess, there is one bedroom with a golden bed. You have to sleep on it all alone at night. The kind princess bid goodbye to her sisters. The crow then warned her, Also, you must not scream at whatever you see or hear, or else my suffering will increase. She agreed and went into the castle. That night, the princess tried to sleep on the golden bed, but sleep eluded her. Soon, she heard terrible noises and footsteps in the room. She thought, I cannot scream because the crow will suffer. So, she shut her eyes tightly and tried not to move. The strange being lit a fire and placed a pot of water on it. The princess could hear the sound of water boiling, but she did not open her eyes. Then the strange beings came to the golden bed where the princess lay. They screamed and yelled and dragged the bed towards the fireplace. The princess could feel the heat and started to sweat. 
The poor girl was trembling with fright, but never made a sound. Suddenly, the cock crowed and the evil beings vanished. The crow flew into the room and hopped around with joy. He said, I am most grateful to you, princess. My pain and suffering have started to lessen already. The princess was very happy to hear this. She continued to sleep in the scary castle. Six days went by. Every day the crow came in and thanked the princess for her help. Finally, on the seventh day, the crow said, Princess, I will soon be freed from the spell. Please be careful tonight. The princess was very happy for the crow. That night, the strange beings made louder and scarier noises. They tried to push the princess here and there, but she refused to open her eyes or even make a sound. Towards dawn, they finally left and the princess fell asleep. A few hours later, she heard a soft voice. Wake up, princess. The princess opened her eyes slowly and saw a young man standing before her. He said, I am the prince who was the crow. Due to your kindness, I have become a prince again. Will you marry me? The princess happily agreed. Soon they were married and they lived happily ever after. Moral, be kind to others. God will bless you. Hope you all enjoyed reading this along children. Do subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and friends. We will meet again with another story. Thank you.